Let's get on with it, Richard. All right, Jay Stewart, bring on a new opponent for Richard. Who do you have? I have a hopeful novelist, the Wink, who has also worked as a bartender, editor, computer programmer, furniture mover, and painter. Meet John Lesquois. <laughs> Let me just look back over that now. Editor, bartender, computer programmer, furniture mover. You can't hold a job, John. What is wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> tell us tell us about your writing. What's well, that? I basically consider myself a novelist. I've written three books. None have gotten published. Uh, so there's other things that I have to do. Now, you've held a lot of different jobs. That's Be right. serious now. Why? Why do you move from job to job? I have to eat. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that enters into it, That's too. That's right. I, uh, I find that I have to... Uh, do something to make a living while I write, which is my first love, but I find that after about a year and a half, I quit. Uh, basically, I don't do anything uh, for more than a year and a half. Well, I'm sorry, you only have a year and a half to spend with us? I think that'll be enough time. <laughs> <laughs> let's, try to work, let's try to work in some chip jack there. Okay. Yeah. All right, John, Richard, take a look at the board. World literature, food, men in sport, women in film, the 20 symbols, bills and billies, presidents, and Great Britain. Richard Klinger as our champion. Please proceed. You go first. I'll take a risk and try the 20s, Link. 20s in the center box, a little harder, of course, for $300, and I'll give you a little extra time for your answer. In 1929, rival gangs were involved in a famous holiday massacre in this Midwestern city. First, I want you to name the holiday, and then two, name the city. Here's the next two seconds. Sir. Richard? 1929, rival gangs involved in a famous holiday massacre in this city. Name the holiday. Valentine's Day. That's right. Name the city. Chicago. Right. Chicago. St. Valentine's Day. An X in the center box. $300 in the pot. And let's move the categories all around on the board. John, I may have some trouble with your name. It's John Lesquaw, right? Lesquaw. Perfect. All right, John. Perfect. Do it. All right. I think I'd like to go with uh, symbols, please. Symbols it'll be. And here's your question. John... Take a look at this symbol, please. This symbol is found on many household products. What does it mean? Trademark. You got it. Brand name or trademark. That's good for an O. Let's shuffle them all around on the board. Five hundred dollars now in the box. Lisa. Um, I'll try Great Britain, Wink. Okay, first time in the category Great Britain subject. The United Kingdom of Great Britain is made up of four countries. One of these countries was originally known as Caledonia and contains the ancient city of Dundee. Name this country. Scotland? Yes, Scotland. Jolly old Scotland. Don't put an S there. Let's shuffle it around again. $700 is worth now, John. Well, I think I'm going to have to go for the block in men in sports. Here's your question for a block of Richard. Athlete Bobby Orr was named this sport's top defensive player eight years in a row. The block Richard named the sport. Ice hockey. Yes, that's right. Put an O there. Good for a block. Five boxes remaining. Let's shuffle them all around on the board. $900 for block Richard. Let's try women in film. All right, women in film. Richard, after becoming a superstar in the television series Charlie's Angels, this actor starred in the film Somebody Killed Her Husband and Sunburn. Name her. Sarah Fawcett Major. You got it, right. Put it next there. Four boxes left on the board, John. We're going to shuffle them around now and see what subjects come up in those boxes. Great Britain, symbols, foods, and world lit. Okay, I've got to go with foods to block. For a block, foods. Answer this, you'll block Richard again. This delicious French pastry, which usually is filled with cream, bears the name of a famous emperor. For a block, name this royal pastry. Napoleon. Yes, that's good for a block. Put it over there. Three boxes left on the board. Let's shuffle. <laughs> Richard, you can select from men and sports Great Britain and Bills and Billy. Well, I'll try Bills and Billy. All right, here's your question. Richard Nixon appointed William Rehnquist to an important position in the American government. To what position was he appointed? Uh, Supreme Court Justice. You got it. That's right. So that goes there. Two boxes left on the board. And let us now shuffle the categories and see what subjects John oh. Lesquaw <laughs> can select from. Bills, Bills and, and Billies, Billies for and the present. block. Huh? Bills and Billies for the block. Okay, you don't have a choice there, do That's you? That's right. All right. John, answer this on Bills and Billies and you'll block Richard for the third time. Among the television series which have starred this bill were The Courtship of Eddie's Father and The Incredible Hulk. For a block, name him. Bill Bradley? No, it's Bill Bixby. Bill Bixby. Okay, still, two boxes left on the board. We shuffle. Richard, your subjects to select from are food and the 1920s. 
Try food for the win, Wayne. If you answer the question on the subject of food, you'll pick up $1,700. We put that with your prior winnings. Your grand total would then become $25,200. Richard, here's your question. This traditional Christmas pudding is usually made from such ingredients as meat, raisins, and apples. However, it's named for another fruit. For a total of $25,200, name this popular pudding. A plum pudding? Yes, that's it. <laughs> so Richard Jr. continues in uh, clinging to the championship. Oh, Wink, you didn't say that. $25,200 in cash and merchandise. How are you feeling, Richard? We haven't had a lot of time to chat today because we've really been to the business of winning. Wink, I'm on cloud nine. Are you? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if we can put you on cloud ten. Remember the dragon? Remember? I do. You have had difficulty seen, with him. But I haven't seen him in a while. That's true. That's true. He said the same thing about you to me <laughs> just before we started. John Lesquois. Doggone it. Another year and a half looking at me. <laughs> You may have to leave us sooner. Hey, John, thank you for being with us. We thank have a couple you. of nice consolation prizes. Sure. If that's a consolation, thank you. Come back. See you. Enjoy it. All righty. <laughs> we'll be right back. We can beat the dragon. Back to Richard right after this.